Right, first of all I want to show you a couple of cool things I've done with some flashlights. I don't know if you can see that inside there, but that is not your typical bulb. That is a 650 nanometer red laser. There it goes right over there. I've mounted it inside the flashlight so it makes it easier to hold. It's a nice firm rubber grip. I think the actual torch itself is uh, waterproof. Um, you do get a little bit of uh, interference off the bit of plastic. I don't think you can see that in the reflection there. But otherwise, for all intents and purposes, it is a high power laser mounted in a flashlight. It's rated at about 150 milliwatt, the actual laser. And it's running on full power. I'd like to show you how powerful this beam is. I should fire it outside onto the house. Zoom in there. There we go. This is in obviously daylight. Still very, very bright. Very bright indeed. All right. Let's try something here. Seen a lot of it on YouTube. Um, so I thought I'd give it a go myself. I've manufactured these uh, laser, well, laser torches, if you like. What I'm going to do, I'm going to mount the camera on the tripod. But before I mount it on the tripod, there's something else I want to show you. Um, I might as well mount it on the tripod now. Oh, by the way, there is there is two of these lasers actually put inside the torch. By fixing simple lens, which I have two here, it's one here, another one here. Just by fixing that on there, like so. I've just focused all the beam's energy into a very small point, uh, which is good for burning. So I shall just move the camera now, and I shall show you. We do it on the uh, the matches first. Zoom in a bit. It's there. Right, let's pick the one with the lens in, which is this one here. Let's move it over to the, uh, the balloons. Is there? You can see that there's a lot of holes in there. The balloon is actually going down. If I focus it on the uh, electrical tape, which is there, you should be able to see me cut through the electrical tape. This is really thick electrical tape as well. Really good quality. Because the beam is such a small spot. Just cut through it. 
just like that. I should be putting these on eBay for auction in the next few days. Um, what it is, it's got a duty cycle, about one minute on and one minute off, because the diode is running flat out. So, just to help the diode last longer. That's about it. 